Now, one of the most exciting things about any season is seeing the young talent come through into the Surrey first season. Of course, that all comes from the Surrey Cricket Academy, and we've seen the likes of Sam Curran, Tom Gower, and Jason Roy all come through under the tutelage of the Academy Director, Gareth Townsend. We're really proud of what we've done um, since the first lockdown. We started a lot of online support for our academy and pathway players. Um, fortunately, as that finished, we went into our return to training program where we trained at Guildford Cricket Club in Dulwich um, for our academy players. And then we had our return to match play at about late July, and we had a pretty comprehensive match play program of red ball and white ball cricket. So we, we maximised everything we could. We utilised LSE, our training ground at New Malden, for a lot of pathway performance cricket in July and August. So we were, we were really proud and pleased of what we've done. Um, our winter programme has been difficult because we haven't been able to train indoors. Um, the only players that have been able to train indoors have been our academy under the elite um, player guidelines. Um, so we've worked really hard well with those, about 16 players have been training regularly since January. Um, again, disappointingly, we can't get our pathway players back in um, until the protocols change and the guidelines change, which hoping will happen in April. Um, we will, over Easter, we have a lot of courses set up for our, our performance and our pathway players to, to come into for their first um, involvement with us for the, for the year, and that will be important. And our academy players will continue to train indoors and gradually we're going to graduate out into some outdoor training um, over the next few weeks. Our match program looks really full for all our players. We, we, we value how much cricket we play and though we haven't been able to train all the time, we've got a very full match program between May and August for this summer against um, various internal opposition and obviously we play county age group matches as well. So that's going to be pretty um, comprehensive and provide a lot of opportunities for our players who otherwise have obviously been, um, haven't been able to train or play for, for, for a while. Um, given the disruption to the growth and development of these players, how important is, is sort of that match practice this summer going to be? Sort of something more like a, a more normal summer for them? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be really important. Look, players need to pr prepare, players need to train, and players need to work on their skills. Um, and we will try and um, accommodate that, um, as I said earlier, in, uh, in the Easter period, um, and get as much cricket into them as possible. But the match programme is, is, is what it's all about. It's performing in, in games under those conditions, and we will provide a lot of opportunities for our players to gain experiences and develop their game through the match programme throughout the summer. And um, you know, we're really looking forward to spending time with both our boys and girls in the pathway to, to, to do that. Um, you stood by a list of academy graduates from, um, from previous years and obviously that's what it's all about, getting players into the first team. Um, we've seen over the last week or so players training and playing in internal matches with the first team players. So, so how good is that experience for academy lads and, and what do you think they get out of that? Oh, it's, it's invaluable. Making that transition from academy player into the professional squad it needs to be as seamless as possible. Um, we've obviously got Bats further involved now with the second 11 and he's been brilliant in, in facilitating that with Vic Ram and Alex Stewart to ensure that we can get some players up. As you mentioned, we had, I think, five players involved in the internal game. They all participated with battle ball. Um, all the feedback was very positive. Um, in terms of how they performed, coming up against you know our professional players, um, and it was a great opportunity for them to kind of showcase what they can do. The experience of rubbing shoulders and training and playing against our best um, first-class cricketers from this county is, it, as I said, is is just you can't um, you can't evaluate that. It's, it's it's priceless, and we want to do more of that, and we continue to do that as we go by week by week to integrate as many as we can.